What's up guys, Tony Rican here, and today I'm gonna have a little bit of fun throwing down making a Puerto Rican inspired sandwich. We're gonna be making some picadillo de carne sliders. You know exactly what these are, don't you? That's right, these are awesome. So let's just go and get started and jump right into this one. Remember guys, if you love all the cool content I'm putting out in my channel, the easiest way to make sure it keeps on rolling and help the channel grow is just to hit like and share this video, drop a comment down below, then go and subscribe and share my YouTube channel. That way, every Monday and Friday, you get a brand new, really cool, simple recipe just like these picadillo de carne sliders, which to start, I'm preheating my oven to 350 degrees, then over here on my stovetop, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of a chote oil, get that heating up. While that heats up, I'm going to go ahead and chop up some olives. Once my oil is nice and hot, I'm going to add some sofrito and my chopped olives. Now for things like sofrito, you can go ahead and get those from the store, or if you want, you can make it at home. I'll drop a link on how to do this. I'm just gonna go ahead, let this go for a couple of minutes. After a few minutes, I'm gonna go ahead and drop my ground beef in. Now I'm not adding it, but right now, if you wanted, you could add some onions, you could add some green peppers, maybe a little culantro or cilantro, I'm just going a basic picadillo de carne though. Now I let that go until a lot of that moisture cooked off. Once that happened, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some salt, pepper, some tomato paste. I'll mix that together and let it for, go for a couple of more minutes. With my picadillo done, I'm ready to move on. I've got my rolls already cut in half. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that picadillo, put it on the bottom half. I'm gonna top that with mozzarella cheese. I'm gonna close these up, and now what I have is I have some melted butter. I'm gonna add some garlic powder and oregano too. I'm gonna brush the tops of these, and then I'll pop it in my preheated oven for about 10 minutes to allow that mozzarella to get nice and melty, and these are done. And that's it, guys. This Puerto Rican-inspired slider is done. Just take a look at how this came out. They freaking look awesome. My cheese is all nice and melty in there. Everything's nice and cooked. Those buns are perfect with that butter, but you know, I can't just look at this. I gotta go grab one and just dig right in. Mm. Sorry about that. This is freaking awesome. You guys are gonna love this one. Go so like, share, comment on the video down below. If you need complete step-by-step Purple instructions, check out AverageGuyGourmet.com. Head over to my Patreon. Consider subscribing for even one. Download up this content, keep rolling out. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Give this a try, and we'll see you guys next time.